Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Downpour Lines For a seamless transition At least for the recording itself oh, Is this a brick? I thought it was a note It kind of looked like Now a note Trouble this game Yeah, we playing guitar there it's like, it's like playing guitar where? Because this is the part will be split into two at this point, you know, so at the end of the previous part, which is also at the same recording here. It's like, you know, these parts are usually part of the same record session, but, you know, sometimes, quite often, in fact, uh, with this Let's Play, it's happened a few times. I just, you know, instead of stopping the recording and then starting another part, I just keep it going and just have it be two parts in one long extended recording. So you know, we still haven't come across the save points. I can't remember what I was doing because I was playing guitar. <laughs> this hammer placement here is making me think of that scene in Team America, where it was like, you know, if, you know, uh, all else fails, use this. Gives him a hammer. You know, you think you'd be like, yeah, hand him a gun, you know. It's like, shoot yourself, you know, because you're, you're screwed at that point or something, you know. It's like, no, just bash your head into a hammer, I guess. Unless the implication was he's going to use the hammer against terrorists. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be a strange fight. Like, hey man, we don't have guns, so we gotta make do with what we got. Have to take him out with a spatula. Man, can you imagine a <laughs> picture of this scene, right? A terrorist or a criminal, anyone that's like committed a serious crime, or any crime really. They're running from law enforcement. They don't have permission to shoot. So they're not able to catch up. But one officer, you know, they're running through like a canteen area or something like that. He just picks up a tray, flings it across the floor, and the guy trips over it to catch it. Like genius. If that were to happen, uh, the guy who falls would look like a right tit, wouldn't he? It's like, how'd you get caught? I tripped on a tray. It's like, oh, that's pretty lame, dude. We're at the scene of the crime. I don't think we might even be able to complete this in this recording. Which means I guess uh next record session would be the hard mode playthrough, which I'm not looking forward to. Evidence. That's evidence for where's evidence of three. Do this in order now. Even though we don't have to. Why is it called morning badge? How's it going, Murph? Heard you're gonna be leaving us soon. You weren't thinking of leaving before you paid back my favor, were you? Hey! Who's there?
Now suddenly we're somewhere else. Too late to make the same joke I made in the first place. So I let that sink in, Murphy. <laughs> ah, shit. All these sections. I don't think about it, there's quite a few of these. You can't help them yourself. It's gonna take up a lot of hard drive space in my mind. Let's do the game. It's quite a long section. Do you want? No, I don't remember. I don't remember. Murphy's gonna cry tonight. What the fuck, man? I'm being chased by a light of doom. I didn't realize dickheads could knock you off the feet. I don't know where to go. You really do run around like a headless chicken in these sections. Because, you know, it's not too obvious ways to go. Probably not past this guy. Wait. You're going this way anyway. Thanks for the push, mate. Unfortunately, it takes me too long to get back on my feet. Oh my god, really? It's just trial and error until you figure it out. Well, you know, you've memorized it. Some people have played the game enough to know where they go at all times. I imagine every speedrunner of this game would have obviously known where to go instantly because I mean that kind of go against the point wouldn't it? <laughs> How can you speedrun the game if you don't even know what you're doing all the time? Oh man I can imagine this game being awful a speedrun. Imagine you fuck up and have to be here. Time is wasted on these freaking load screens. That would suck. Pretty soon as in right now, but let's skip. I don't know how to skip the scenes. You know, I've said this before in the past. But one of the absolute worst unskippable scenes I've ever encountered in a video game is that. Freaking encounter with Seymour on Mount Yagas in Final Fantasy X. That fight is freaking hard. And if you lose, you gotta sit through a really long gut and you can't skip it. It's fucking bullshit. And they do like a remaster or something out of that game. I wonder if they added the option to skip cuts. That one scene, you know, it's a good scene and all. It makes you really in the mood for kicking his ass and all, but you know, if he kicks your ass and you have to really watch him gloating and boasting at the end of the day, it's not fun. So 
ultimately what I'm getting here is I never run towards the these bad guys. You see him go the opposite direction. Of not for you know uh, the recent Silent Hill shit quests that were released. This and Homecoming would be considered the worst in the series, the absolute lowest of the low. It's like I shit on the game a fair amount, but you know I do like some things about like the game. It's just it's not a good game. I gotta fucking go for this again! And it's unskippable. You know, it's weird. I complain about the game not having, you know, the usual, you know, save points or anything like that, but at the same time, can you imagine how far back you'd have to freaking go if you <laughs> get a game over? Got this stupid auto save. Be even worse. Then again, you know, if this was like class of going, games, there'd probably be a save. You're gonna be leaving us soon. Anyway. You weren't thinking of leaving before you paid back my faith. Yeah, you? fuck you, so. I just made me think of uh, some fire. Like, damn brat, I'll see. I uh, played was out of five twice and played was out of five royal once and a quarter because I did start replaying it but in Japanese, which is weird. You know, we hear the Japanese voice that you can't help on yourself. But yeah, and I was also watched um, RT Games play through of it. It's funny hearing them like constantly put that like damn Brown, I'll see you and all that, but. One crazy observation is that guy's voice actor is the same guy who act voice acts that ass on the zine, Skyrim. Wild. Has someone ever fought the sync up the two? It's just like have a mod where if you kill the zine or attack him, he says, "Damn brat, I'll sue." You. you can really hear it once you you know notice that. It's like, holy shit, it's him! Holy shit, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. But, you know, that's been established for quite a while. Oh, is it this? Is this a door? Oh, well, maybe it was. It's not. You're gonna get guillotines! Slowly burning to death! Why? I'll tell you why. 
because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. But I've seen this guy so many times. I don't want to do the stuff again. It's looking very likely. I guess I'm not gonna be finishing this in this box. Because like I was laughing, this fucking hell, this is taking for fucking ever. Up and out, Murphy. I guess this is the correct way after all. You have arrows pointing here after all. It's just kind of slowed down dramatically. So. I'm gonna spit on you, Murphy. How do you suffer in pain in slow motion like that? But, oh, oh. <laughs> and he just fucking dies. Why waste your time like that? He was totally fucked. Why give you the illusion you can keep going? This is fucking bullshit. What a waste of fucking time. Do I have to do the cutscene again? At least now I know. Just keep running until I see two freaking arrows and then go that way. Pay a little bit more attention. The viewer retention on this video is probably just a few seconds. Ah, fuck, we do. You know, a few times that I have actually checked the analytics and stuff like that, it seems my videos at most get maybe two minutes average. It's like, does that imply anyone who clicks on any of my videos is like, watch for one, two minutes, and I'm like, nah. It's like, what about my regular viewers? It's like, what regular viewers? I don't know. I assume there are at least one or two people, maybe, I don't know, would watch the video all the way through. How's it going, Murph? I thought he wasn't even going to talk this time. I thought he was like, yeah, I've given up on doing this. It's just ridiculous at this point, isn't it? I'm Gagazette, it's turned into uh, a prison. You know, I've never played the sequel, you know, Final Fantasy X2. And, you know, from what I've seen and heard about it, it looks freaking weird as shit. It's just yeah, like, Final Fantasy, fun. go, you want to have fun with it. It's like, what the fuck happened to you, know, man? It's like, she had a complete change in character, like, dramatically, like, years. Ow! Fuck! Why did I bring that up, then? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, you know, uh, Apparently, they, you know, they have tension for what's happened on Mount Gagazette, you know. Don't forget about what happened there, man. Oh, fuck you. Jesus Christ, it's like running into a wall. This fucking guy. Still not seeing any fucking arrows. Oh, this is fucking painful. I hate this game. I really do. I am dreading playing through this on hard. This is not a good game. You can like the game, but 
Yeah, I acknowledge it's a bad game. It's needed more time in the oven. ironic to say because it feels like Murphy is getting a lot of time in the oven with this thing burning in the back. Ah! Murphy, you weren't the one who was supposed to be ah! in that there oven. Ah! Jesus ah! fucking Christ, this fucking game. Ah! I don't remember it being this bad when I played for the first time. Ah! Fucking hell, it's just... Terrible luck and terrible sense of direction. Good fucking god. As soon as I get next Odyssey, I'm gonna just fucking call that part there. But then, that'd mean to be super short, so I've gotta play a little longer than that. Like, fuck. Screwed out of way because I just. Well, I had no choice, really, you know? Because fucking autosave. I mean, I could have, you know, just said fuck it right. Well, no, because when we got to that point, it would have been over an hour already. But it, it would have been over 50 odd minutes by the time we got to this stupid checkpoint here. <sighs> it fucking sucks. And why is there fucking chase scenes in Silent Hill? Wasn't that demo game? I still haven't, you know, checked it out. It's, like, it's not even a demo, really, but it kind of looks like it. It's just it's like a short How's it going, game. Murph? Heard you're gonna be leaving us soon. Well, that looks like it's basically all about chase scenes. Silent Hill was never supposed to be about chase scenes. Because, you know, you run away from some stuff, sure, but, you know, you didn't really have, like, dedicated chase scene sections of the game. The closest you had was Silent Hill 2 with that, you know, uh, cramped hallway with the changing camera in the head of the But that's short, and, you know, you don't have to run very fast, and, you know, it just builds the tension. This is just freaking tedious. Oh my god, every fucking time in this game. I'm gonna get hit again because it takes me so long to get back up. Yeah, fucking see where I'm going. Murphy. I fucking saw that arrow just there. Should have turned right. Well. What can you do but loop back around? It's kinda hard to turn on the fly like that. And you're running from something that'll instantly kill you to slow down. But it doesn't even instantly kill you, it slows you down. Alright. Now we're back. Okay, I think I'm right. Is that it? I wasn't paying attention again. Oh my god, I never learned. I never went to running school. Look at this jock, he's come to bully us. I go on a sportsy guy there, Murphy. You don't think kind of your time or anything. You're a nerd. Shame we can't just shoot this fucking annoying like these Jasons. It was right that all the time. The only way I find the fucking right way is when I'm, you know, too fucked and too slow we can fucking get it. So we're doomed to die at times. It's like, fuck. So easy to overlook that fucking turn. It's so annoying. I hate it. God damn, I hate chase sequences in games. 
Sure, there's tension maybe the first time, but after that, it's just fucking frustration. What's scary about this fucking sequence? I mean, if if you put your shelf, your shelf, yourself in Murphy's shoes here, yeah, it'd be pretty freaking scary. But, you know, it's a video game. And we keep getting game overs. So the tension's kind of ruined. And can you imagine this game in VR? Can you imagine how much more janky this game could potentially get? Every time he brings that freaking thing out, it just looks like, you know, uh, a collection of boxer or shorts or socks you're gonna or be something. Leaving us soon. It's like, that's the evidence. You weren't thinking of leaving before you paid back my favor, were you? Fuck your favor. Get on with it. You know, the comparison to Mount Gag is that it's fitting. So it feels like I mean I'm fucking boss fight. It's just the same shit over and over again. I sit through the same fucking cutscene every goddamn time. And I get hit for that every goddamn time. Consistently shit. Seriously, why is that keep happening? My timing is just so bad. Take the first ride. I can turn in here, right? I have to slow me down so I can see a bit clearer. Jackass. Then you got these bastards spitting at you. He's like, how do you dodge them? You have to slow down. And if you slow down, that fucker catches up with you. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Good time. It's good time. <laughs> and dab it over. Oh my fucking god, this section's never ending. What were they thinking with this garbage? This sucks. Where do we go? If I get a game over here, do I still have to do everything all over again? Like, that cutscene for the billion fucking time? I hate this game now. I really do. I remember Homecoming being pretty shit, but fucking hell, this game's giving a run for its money. Bottom of the barrel. The low times weren't so bad, and you could fucking skip that fucking cutscene. This wouldn't be so bad. I mean, it still sucked, but it, it wouldn't be as bad. Oh my. I'm slowly going mad. This fucking section that can fucking kiss my ass. I fucking hate it. Worst chase sequence by far in this game. That being said, I think there might be another one at some point. I can't remember. These fucking sections add nothing but frustration. How's it going, Murph? Heard you're gonna be leaving. They're us. not tense, they're just fucking you annoying. Thinking of leaving before you paid back my favor, were you? If I hear that line one more fucking time, so Oh 
Monstrous! How many times have I died in this section alone? Maybe when I'm editing this shit, I'll you know, have a counter. Then again, I don't know. Because you'd be like, oh yeah. But yeah. every time, consistently, what the fuck? You expect me to like do a brief tiny little pause before running there? Like, ah. fuck you, developers. Fuck you. It's supposed to be constantly moving because you can catch up with you, you're fucked. And you gotta slow down for certain bits. Like, fuck you. You just can't win. But you know, since there's like quite a fair bit in the video at this point, I don't know uh, if I remember to do that. Because then I'd be like, oh yeah, no, that's the part where I said that, so yeah, let's go back to this. Now, and it has. And in account. The bullshit counter. Fuck you. Oh yeah! Couldn't even fucking see what was in front of me. Oh my god. Seriously. This game is just fucking crap. Ah, uh, I don't remember having this kind of trouble in the fucking first playthrough, and that was on fucking normal difficulty. I mean, I don't imagine the difficulty really changes much in these sections, but I mean, what the fuck is making it so much harder this time? I don't fucking get it. Is it like, oh, you're playing puzzle mode, uh, the puzzles and all that on hard mode? So we're gonna make it so that the fucking mage you have to navigate around is a lot more fucking bullshit. I don't fucking know. This section sucks. There's no checkpoints. There's fucking old school bullshit right here. Reminiscent of video games where you know. You gotta beat the whole level in one go, otherwise it's back to the start. At least it's not the ultimate bullshit where, you know, you got limited lives. How's it going, Murph? Heard you're gonna be leaving us. Can you imagine a fucking Silent Hill game with limited lives? thinking of leaving before you paid back my favor, were you? I guess it'd be like the equivalent of Resident Evil. It's just like you got limited saves. If they were just limited lives, it'd be worse because it doesn't matter if you save or not. Some people love that kind of shit. Me personally, I don't. You can't help them yourself. I remember the difficulty descriptions in uh, the uh, remake of the first Resident Evil. First Resident Evil I played. Fucking every time, and like for the difficulty on the first playthrough, they basically say, like, "Okay, what kind of challenge do you like?" The normal mode, which I played it on, is like you know, kind of you know, it's like some kind of walk or something. You know, it's like hard mode would be like you know, climb the mountain. I can't remember how it works. You know, I'm kind of in the middle. I like a bit of a challenge, but I don't like to be you know, constantly enraged at the difficulty. It tends to happen to me quite a lot. Some games. Section that never ends. Never ever end. You'll go in so well, fuck. What it you had the arrow. Is it misleading me? Or was that the way I was supposed to go? 
How am I supposed to get around that truck? Oh my god, man. Now's not the time to get stuck on the fucking wall. Ah! Ah! Fucking heal these. Why is the timing on them so fucking awkward? Why is this fucking section so dog shit? That's gonna be the whole fucking part. Oh my fucking god. Since we're done with this section, I thought I'd play a little more. Fuck it now. Second we're done with this section, and I see that fucking saving notification. Fucking done. I'm not playing any more of this shit. Until fuck knows when I'll next record. Probably a week or two from now. I mean, if there's gonna be three parts of this record section, so that's like 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So a bit close to two weeks, I guess. Now I think about it, the first part in this record session will be uploaded tomorrow. I gotta edit all this shit as well, like. I would say, I do know how tedious that is, but I don't really edit that much anyway. I mean, half the time, what happens is, I'll sync up the audio, let the video play, if I hear it go out of sync, I will, you know, usually see if I can, you know, get it back away from, like, you know, a part where I'm like, make an obvious point where I'm like, okay, I'll you know, be right back. How's it going, and it's, Murph? you know, this bit you're gonna be leaving where I'm like, you know, like when I look up I stuff, you know? before you paid back my For example, you? it's like I edit out the bit where I'm looking that up because it's just basically silence the whole time. And nothing going on in here. It's like, other than that, you know, the music just have it play in the background. Well, I'm doing something else, but it still you know, takes time, you know? I play the full length of the video, and then there's like... however long it takes to save the damn thing. Depending on, you know, the game, it can range from less time than the video itself to uh, save it, or more. Like those Jurassic World Evolution 2 videos, anyway. Fuck you. I slowed down and it fucking didn't work. Holy time. And when I do videos like that, I just level two. Those take up a lot of space, so I take ages to save. But you know, games like this, these are older games, so I guess the file recording and stuff isn't quite as bad. It doesn't take too fucking time. Oh, damn it. Give me a spin. Looking for arrows! But yeah, you know, file size kind of determines how long it takes to see the video as well. Uh, thought that was going to be another direction! He's cornered me! What the fuck did he do? Do 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 <laughs> so I was probably playing for this again. Hooray! Praise V to this brilliant fucking game. Oh, we're finally out of here, are we? Jesus fucking Christ. Well, there is a checkpoint here, but you know, it's not exactly the best place for it. We're not quite out of the spike work yet. So I'll play a little longer. I just hope there's an old save point not too far from here. Having his ass tickled by spikes. Ah! 
going down, down, west. Ah. Oh, no, it's that. I'll take your ammo. That's what I think you're pipe, sir. Why does it kind of look like a church hidden down there? Is that intentional? I'm tied. Oh my god, you can't aim shit. Ah, these motherfuckers. I think they can spasm and attack me like that. I do not approve. Oh my god, Murphy. Now you're an amateur and all. Come on. It's America. I could understand it if, you know, uh, it was like that one spin off that they're doing where it's gonna be sent to Japan for some reason. I could understand it there, you know. One's not very common. This is Silent Hill, which is in America. Every time you see America, you gotta say it like that for whatever reason. I don't know. Well, <laughs> now I'm just picture, <laughs> and he's just like, "Yeah, we run into Anne again." Because he's like, starts arresting him. He just turns into Randy from South like, Arrest me! Arrest me for what? For this America? Uh, is this America? I thought, sorry, I thought this America. It's like, you know, those old side-scrolling beat-em-ups. Except in 3D. They always have the elevator section. Streets of Rage going to Hi. You know, I'm realizing more and more of this is gonna suck even more, you know, on hard mode, isn't it? Unless... Because... I do know that apparently the secret ending kinda ends before the final boss, but I don't know how far before it is. I hope we can skip the whole prison section, that would be freaking perfect. Just man, there'd be a lot of trial and error in this Access denied. Access denied. Let me guess. Access denied. Did I have to finish her off before the good news? Like, there's a trophy you have to spare them to, you know, get to the game. To get a trophy. You've gotta not kill anyone. You just gotta knock them down if you have to. But not give them the killing blow. Mm. 
anything over here? No. Yeah, I'm thinking about that, you know, I'm out of times I died in that same section, and it's like, oh, let's have a counter. You know, if I was better at anything, you know, I'd have, like, you know, those cool kind of counters, you know, YouTubers, where, you know, even have sound effects and stuff. Me? I ain't got that kind of editing skill. I mean, it's probably very simple, but, you know, I ain't got time for that. My editing is very minimalistic. Which might also contribute to why my videos don't get many views. So I got thought about that, you know. My commentary style and in particular my language. Because, you know, I just casually swear and stuff like that. And I imagine uh, algorithm doesn't like that. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a, like a few puzzles before we get the final boss. Where's the next checkpoint? In fact, there's an other section before that entirely. Riveting gameplay. <laughs> that picture is just like uh, heavy rain. Like press X to charm. <sighs> oh man, I would just be really pissed. Yes. Why is there it is, finally. Save. Wait a minute. Them motherfuckers took my shotgun and my freaking axe. What the fuck? I can't even throw anything like I usually do at the end of a session. This bullshit. Yeah, I can't select this. Because, you know, this is a puzzle only section. It's neat, I guess. It's not bad. But, you know, another section where they just take away everything you have that's, you know, you picked up. Which is, you know, part of the course of this game at this point. That's gonna do it for this part of the god session. I guess I'll complete all these puzzles, beat the final boss in the next record session, and then after that, we can go for that stupid idea of playing on hard mode. I mean, seriously, if not for the trophy, I would just play it on easy again, just to freaking make it quicker. But you know, when I get to that third playthrough, it's mostly going to be off screen. As much as you probably want to see me fail even more than this freaking record session alone. I ain't on screen in all of the third playthrough. It's just bits and pieces. Such as, you know, the uh, part where I'm actually picking up the pieces of the past. Or the side quests for the uh, secret ending. So yeah, see you next time viewers. See you next time.